Hi folks, the Kayaking Kid here. Uh, again, thanks for watching my videos, liking, subscribing. Fantastic. I don't do it for the money, you'll notice no ads, unless it's copyright music. Uh, anyway, this one is uh, Josh's kayak, that's my son. And what I did was uh, I put a bilge pump in it. Uh, just want to make it a little bit more uh, technical, you know. Um, it was, it's a kayak for messing around with actually, so if I'm going to get wet in any kayak, it's going to be this one. Now a lot of people have commented, how did I do that? So obviously you need a pump to start with. I got a 12 volt, 1100 gallon per hour pump. It's automatic bilge pump. Two lives, one switched, one constant live. I wired that to a switch um, so I could choose whether I wanted it on automatic or manual. Automatic switches on as soon as the kayak is overturned. It can also run dry so it will start when it's upside down. Or the manual is good for just getting that last bit of water out of the kayak. This is the bulkhead fitting I connected the pump to, which is an inch uh, ID hose. The battery was the biggest problem. Uh, I got a 2.2 milliamp hour lipo, which is um, it was it was fairly difficult to get one right size. Not too big, not too small, but with that battery, I can get six complete empties of the kayak when it's full. Now you'll notice it will never ever be full because of the, the front and back hatches. Um, so you probably got about 12, if that was the case. But I filled the kayak totally to the brim and I got it six times emptied. Anyway, what's a treat? It takes about a minute and a half to empty the kayak. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Catch us again. Cheers.